Welcome to Tesla Info and today we are going to talk about full self-driving or FSD. We will show you how to find out if a car has it, whether it transfers to a new owner, and the issues that some people report where it does not. The best way to check if a car has FSD is to check the car's configuration via my Tesla. This is the car specification and is the list of key features that Tesla acknowledged the car to have. To check, visit my Tesla, select Manage Car, and then select the link to the car image. You may need to right-click on the image to bring up the option. Drop this link into the option decoder on Tesla Info, and we will do the hard work for you. Unfortunately, when buying a car from a dealer, you are unlikely to be able to check my Tesla. There is a second way to see if a particular car has the FSD option, although watch the video to the end for the note of caution. To find out, simply visit Settings, Software, and then look at the installed packages. This car has the Enhanced Autopilot package, and other options exist, including just autopilot and full self-driving capability. For a complete list with plenty of examples, visit the Tesla Info website. When looking at these screens, do not confuse the full self-driving computer text with the full self-driving capability package. You are looking for the package to be included on the car. As a general rule, FSD stays with the car when it is sold, and this should certainly be the case with private sales where the car specification in my Tesla can be checked. So why the note of caution? There have been lots of reports in the press of Tesla removing FSD after a car has been sold. This has occurred and happens under very specific circumstances. What seems to happen is Tesla take ownership of the car during the sales process. Maybe the car is returned to Tesla at the end of a lease or traded in as part exchange for a new car. While Tesla own the car they decide to make some configuration changes. This may include removing premium connectivity, free supercharging, or changing the available packages in the car, including FSD. These changes will all be listed on the Tesla website when Tesla sell the car. However, sometimes Tesla do not sell the car directly and sell the car into the trade. Where the problem occurs is when the car specification and the activated features in the car become temporarily out of sync. When this occurs, the feature gets removed from the car after it has been sold. The dealer should know from the car description when they bought it whether FSD was included and should list it accordingly, and any buyer should confirm with the dealer whether FSD inactive if the car appears to have it. It is not safe to assume that just because the car appears to have FSD that the option will stay active. To summarize, FSD will transfer on a private sale or a dealer sale where Tesla have not been in the chain of ownership. If you are buying from a dealer, ask them to guarantee the option as part of the sale if you are in any doubt, and if they do not understand the concern, point them to this video. 